A few months ago, we heard about OpenAI Sora. You can check out the video link on the top there. But we've also heard a couple of other AI video platforms like Runway introducing its Runway ML3, and we've heard of the Kling and many more. But what if I told you that there is a platform that does it all? Yes, you heard that right. Today, we're gonna to jump right in to LTX Studio. What is LTX Studio, you ask me? It is what they claim to be storytelling transformed. So in a nutshell, before we even dive into the nitty gritty parts, which we will in a moment, this is the ensuite of everything that we have seen so far, character consistency and delivering specific impeccable storytelling. And you also have frame control and automatic editing. So it sounds really more interesting, like truth is better than fiction. This really does. But when I first used it, I was astounded. As you can see, automatic edits. And you can see some of the examples. I'm going to have the link to this website so you can also see down below and uh, use it for ourselves. And if you wanted to also read more about it, again, I'm going to have the link down below to this website. Again, uh, just a disclaimer, this is on a waitlist. So you might need to be on the waitlist so you can join the waitlist and you can sign in and see what it is. But we're going to go and we're going to see what the interface is all about. Right from the get-go, we can see that LTX Studio has a very clean approach. But before we jump into that, you can actually first click on the upgrade and you can see the options. So initially we have something known as one computing hour per month. Then you can have $7 per month, 48 and 240. These are still in the beta. So as a time of recording, these are the offers that they are offering for now. Also, what is computing seconds? So computing seconds, they say computing seconds are the units we use to measure and track your usage. So if we go to my specific one, you're going to see that the remaining seconds I have left is 3,600 seconds. And I'm currently under the free plan. So it's going to be one computing hour. So basically it's 3,600 seconds, exactly. And the personal use. So the personal use, organic use of personal social media accounts and websites. So that they have also clearly mentioned, if you want to use for commercial use, you probably need the business one, including paid social media, small screen company and freelance work. So if you want to do for that. So right off the get-go, you can see it is laid out the price structures beautifully. Now we go back and we can see that over here, there are three specific sections. We're going to deal with each of them individually. The one you have a create a story, visualize your concept and start from scratch now we're going to dive into the first one which is going to be create a story so it clearly says that instantly turn any idea or a simple prompt to a fully realized video so we're going to do that exactly and now what i'm going to do is we have options in the bottom as well so you can add your own story so write a film write your film idea or synopsis you can also add a log line if you want like if you have just one line that you want to add then you can have they also have options here so if you're not able to come up with an idea you can probably use one of the ideas in the bottom. Let's just re-roll and see which one we want to use. Because I want to use one of these. So let's say infinite. So a software engineer gets trapped in virtual reality game, unravels digital enigmas, allies with an AI, redefines the boundaries of reality. Interesting enough, I'm going to stick with this specific one. I'm not going to add for this one because I'm going to do that for the next one, which is the visualizer concept. So next, we go to next. And then what happens is in the background, it's actually creating the cast and it's creating all those things. So exactly, as you can see, it automatically generated the cast based on the story. So we have something known as an AI companion, advanced AI guide, that is the cast and the name. And then we have Alex Johnson, the intelligent software editor. Then it doesn't just stop there. If you want, you can further do like a face switch. So if you wanted to add your own image, or if you wanted to add an image that you've taken from some other place or some other software or something, you can add it there and then it will be consistent with that. I'm actually gonna do an example with that as well. But for this one, I'm gonna keep young Alex's face over here. You can also not just that, if you click on the edit button over here, you can actually, it opens up a separate card that has all the different definitions and indicators like the character name, the age, and it's also essence that reshapes the plot of the project. So it's going to change. It's also, if you want to give it a specific way the person looks. So this is a male Caucasian, brown eyes, short hair, and what kind of an attire they're wearing. Also, they have different voices. So for this one, they have like a Josh voice, but you have, as you can see, they have a plethora of voices uh, pre-built. You can also listen to the voice. So if you want to listen to the voice. As an organizer, I start from where the world. Sounds pretty good. And then we're going to click on apply. So we basically have the same stuff over here. So you could also go here. As you can already see, very something interesting. Because it's an AI companion, they did not give us the age, but the age range is between one to 120. But because this is an AI companion and then its appearance is a virtual entity and then the voice is confident. It's, it's a Nora. So let's just hear Dreams come true. true. Without that possibility, I don't like this voice because given the face, I'm going to just change it. So let's just find a voice that's a little bit more in the middle of every difficult. This might not be it. Again, this is a subjective preference that you may or may not feel. So let's say it is fatal. No, that's a male voice. Work while you have the light. Dreams come true. Let's keep this one. 
and then we're going to click on apply then what happens is our as you saw any changes you do you're actually also changing the ai so it's generating on its own and then we have the script we automatically got a name for the project and the aspect ratio so whether you want to make it for like a vertical for a reel or a shorts whether you want to make it for like a post whether you want to make it for like a 16 by 9 ratio so you have three different ratios you can also use different video styles you can do anime style comic book style analog style 3d modeling the list just goes on for the purposes of this one we're going to stick with cinematic because everybody likes cinematic and we're going to do that style references you can change the intensity so use the reference image to set the style of your video we're not going to add one for this specific one but if you have like if you want to use a movie reference that if it wants to emulate that specific movie you can use it kind of like a lot but not quite so you could then you can put that you can upload it over here and then it can actually you can change the intensity and then you can have the cinematic inspiration so was it like noir stylish let's say apocalyptic there we go we have it as apocalyptic and as you can see before i even go and start every time you do a slight bit of a change things change and right before i said the minute i wrote cinematic inspiration as apocalyptic did you just notice what happened the cast changed its attire like it's everything else is the same but the imagery that we are just seeing even before we even get to our plot it's already apocalyptic feel you can add more characters if you wanted to so if i wanted to add more characters if you have more characters in the story you can definitely add that and again you can do the whole same process with this edit character card but we're going to stick with this one keeping it simple and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on start this basically adds a little bit of a processing time i'm going to show the result for this one at the end of the video so do stick around to see this result for this specific one and the other videos at the end of this video because it's going to be interesting but, but 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 before we head there you can see there's a bunch of different things that is going on over here we see a couple of what looks like thumbnails then we see a couple of like scene settings so essentially what's happening over here a quick rundown is that this is kind of like a storyboard in a real world scenario when you're like doing a cinematography or like a videography you would have like a storyboarding and this is exactly what it's doing it's like a cinema it's like a storyboarding situation and then you also have a shot editor so if you wanted to change the shots you can see that it's going from shot one shot two and then it's also the prompt is like alex johnson so our character is the one who is having a specific kind of thing that's been done to it and then you can also change the motion whether that it's natural it's extreme you can also create custom motion but but i'm gonna go one thing at a time here we're gonna first see the scenes for the scene you can see right over here they have automatically given us tech company office and the lighting is soft fluorescent lighting the weather they haven't given a weather but i want to give a weather so i'm going to say rainy day and you see what's going to happen automatically it just live adds that information i haven't even clicked on enter it adds that information and that is exactly why this is so powerful as you can also see it it also changed the thumbnails but it's also giving us shot types so shot type medium shot shot type close up shot type close up and then you can also add some sound effects if you wanted to search for some sound effects so if you wanted to sound search for some sound effects you can say people talking and then you're going to see people talking in an office in an office because it makes sense he's in an office space so we're going to just add a couple of things so let's see what options we have so people talking in lobby ambience people are talking ambience so that's a bit loud that's also a bit loud so it's a bit of a finesse but you can see each and every single option is for us to choose from i might just go for this one right over here. i mean it is what it is so i'm going to just keep that with our first scene over there and we're going to stick with that and for this one over here the sound effect that i would give is let's just see what a digital sound would be like digital so let's see text readout yeah that could be an interesting sound especially i'm just thinking that when we have these like projections it's going to be a nice sound to have and it'll be very interesting when you will see how it will all line up and then you go to the next scene so again everything we saw so far was just in the scene one you have scene one shot one shot two shot three scene two it's exactly using the principles of filmmaking but you are left with just your hands up in the air and everything done by the ai which is just brilliant so we have up to six scenes and each scene has been given its own kind of details that we can work with again i must preface you can go and edit each and every single section of this whether you wanted to add a detail whether you wanted to put something else whether you wanted to add digital and physical elements merging in the surreal blend and then you can add at ai companion so then what would happen is we would have our ai companion character in this frame because wherever you're going to see the names with the at is where you're adding the characters it's kind of like you're asking the ai that hey i need these characters in frame 
Obviously, for the purposes of this one, I don't need the character. So again, every time you're doing that, it's creating live edits. It's like a live edit. So with that said, again, the last thing is you can have an overall scene sound. So if you want an overall scene sound, I'm going to say office. So we're just going to wait for a little bit and we're going to see now in the office. That's a good setting for this specific scene. For this one, based off of the overlay, we can add cityscape. We can add that one. And then this one is, let's just say cybernetic. I'm going to change that. And then high tech devices. That could be interesting. So that was this one. So then you add that. So you can add scenes per setting. One more thing is that when you are going to be adding it to the preview, it is a good idea to click on the generate video option. So you click on each of these and then you could add for generate video. And then the best way to do this whole process would be to export. You have 19 static shots. So it's telling us that we need, you can leave them as still shots or click on generate. That's exactly what we have to do now. So we're going to click on generate on each of these. So now we go ahead and it's saying that we have 17. So each of these shots are now becoming a video rather than just an image. So this is where you would say the absolute secret sauce is being added. And you can see that all the shots are being added. Once we do that, then we're gonna jump into the next one. That's not the only video that we're gonna do because there are two other ways that you can also make the LTX studio. The whole idea is basically also the same. So I'm not gonna be going super quickly, but I'm just gonna show you in in a bit of a skim, like what we have. And the bottom one is pretty straightforward, is start from a scratch. That means is that you're gonna add everything that we had in Create a Story, but everything. So you're gonna have the character, you're gonna have the style reference, you're gonna have the script, you're gonna do it all. And when it comes to the visualize your concept, you can actually add a full-fledged script. So I have a script that I have written and I'm gonna have it put out over here. So this is the entire script that I have. You can have, as you can see, up to 12, thousand words or you could also conversely upload a file so you can upload your file if you if you have a file here or you can add up to twelve thousand words and then i'm going to go to next same process now based on whatever i've written it's automatically just like fetched out the characters and fleshed out the characters and it's giving me different styles so it's giving me two women so elena smith and clara johnson elegant poised young woman determined and very young discovering family secrets and then we can put cinematic aspirations it could be pastel drama we could say something about echoes of the past yeah that's all I'm going to keep there. You can see it live edits also. And then you can also add a video style. So like I mentioned previously. So since the first one we did it cinematic, this one we can add it as an analog film. Again, as I mentioned in the previous one as well, you will see it being live edit. So you can see this is an analog style. The images also are showing that. And then once I go into the breakdown, the breakdown essentially is, like I've mentioned, is your storyboard. So it's going to show up the storyboard. And now you can see you have here the synopsis, the old mansion, and you have the Alina's revelations and the exploring. And then we start. Now we're going to actually get down to the storyboard. So the breakdown was before the storyboard. Now you can see we have a scene by scene all the way up to. So it's also mentioning some parts that your scene narration exceeds the recommended length and will be cut off. So what we can do is we can remove a couple of things. So let's say. And then we have, so we can we can edit this and then you can work on that. So again, it's a similar kind of a vibe. One thing that we can do in this specific one, which I did not show specifically in the other one, is we go to the shot editor. And then if we wanted to, like I mentioned actually in the previous one, you have a custom option. So if you wanted to change that, and if you wanted to like put in like a dolly in, then what's going to happen is it's going to create a frame that will do that. And if you want to do like six seconds, then it will create a generator video. And it'll actually create a video for this specific frame. So I definitely wanted to show that, that how it, how versatile it can be, apart from being extreme and natural and seen, you can actually go ahead and do your own thing, whether it is track left, track right, dolly in, orbit, static. And as we can see, it's, it's, it's adding it to our process over here. Some of the times you might have yourself occurring with some errors, but most of the time it is really a top notch job when it comes to calling itself a studio. And just because we made this one, so I'm going to actually have a quick playthrough of this one. Well, I don't know what's happening with her eyes there. She definitely doesn't look like a human being, but the dolly in definitely worked. So that's it again. Again, with the whole thing about AI, it's always you got to take it with a pinch of salt, but the technology is there. Just imagine what happens in the future. With that said, you can now see the two videos and you can leave a comment down below. I would really love to hear what you think about these two videos. I never imagined that a routine software test would plunge me into a virtual labyrinth. In this digital realm, I found allies in unexpected places and uncovered secrets. Secrets blurred the lines between what's real and what's not. With every line of code I deciphered, I redefined the boundaries of reality. 
It wasn't just about escaping the game. It was about embracing the limitless potential of the virtual world. As I emerged, I carried with me a newfound understanding of the power within the digital universe. My dearest love, there are things I must tell you. Th for the truth is a burden too heavy to bear alone. They definitely felt like a slice of a small teaser of some kind of a movie. I mean, I might actually end up going and making more out of it. If you want to see more of an extended version of either of the stories or any other kind of stories with the LTX Studio, please leave a comment down below. And again, like I mentioned, you have to take AI with a pinch of salt because there are a couple of parts where we did see a couple of glitches here and there. Like I clearly saw one with the AI headshots, headsets, and also a couple of shots in the Echoes of the Past where we have the eyes shifting and the hands shifting. But the technology is really cutting edge. Now, the bigger question is, does this cut it with the likes of Kling or the others? I wouldn't get so far as to saying that. But if you want to know more about AI video and AI content in general, I would really recommend that you subscribe to this channel. And you also, if you would like it, please like this video. That would really be super, super amazing. And without much of that, you can actually check out this video over here, which I actually made about hyper AI. Speaking of AI videos, that one has taken its turn and I'm going to be making an update video on that. So you should definitely check out that one. You can also check out this over here because this one YouTube thinks you should watch that one. You can check out this one over here because this one's also been viewed really well. And you can also subscribe. So please feel free to subscribe. Until then, I'm going to see you in the next one.